Yes. Hello team, it's Gene Kerman. Your next mission is purely research. You're headed back to the moon with a cargo of mystery goo. This time the science team asked us to release the goo over a specific biome. Once you do that, you'll have a chance to show off your piloting skills, your budget and technology have increased for this mission, so build a spacecraft worthy of us Kerbals. So we need to put some stuff on the moon. You saw Pacific Rim Uprising. It was not as good as the other one, right? There's the original. I know that for a factoid. Today Scott will talk extra much. Don't worry, I am going to actually build a rocket too. So I just want to see what we need to do is we need to require a mystery goo containment unit. And I'm actually going to have like three of them because we all know just how likely the game is to be a little confused about mystery goo containment units. Wow, we only have like really big fuel tanks, don't we? Yeah. Let's let's just stick those on there and have, have this detachable TD01 decoupler. And underneath that we will stick one of these because that will be my upper stage. There we go. Uh, this is the upper stage. You know, why would I use that? Hold on. What's the... These are 320, 310... Wow, these things have really good specific impulse, so why... Yeah, forget these things. I'm just going to put these on here. Put these on my upper stage engines. And that should give my upper stage plenty of performance. And then we'll have a TD, whatever, the TDSD coupler down here. Extend this the heck out. And... Now, I wonder what the mass of this thing is. Okay, so the mass is 29 tons. The thrust to weight, or sort of the... So this should actually have enough thrust here. By the way, um, gonna be out of town, because uh, I'm gonna be in Hawaii. So if anybody is in Hawaii and has something awesome that they can show me, like telescopes, you know, don't be afraid to get in touch. But yeah, I gotta do that. And let's make the sh let's make this thing the thing. That's what we like. Just add some extra thrust to start with. You should not take me as a good example of a human being. Okay, this is good. This is good. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of hold that attitude there. I'd drink an aqueous solution of ethanol if it had Scott's face on the bottle. I'm not sure you would, because that could give you all sorts of nightmares. You feel that there should be a high-grade vodka dyed pink and named rocket fuel. Uh, yes, maybe. That might be a cool idea. We need Scott Manly Beer, we'll call it Hello Beer. I'm going to call his blah, 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 blah. We're, I think our, my ascent is rather steep, but that's fine because we have to get to this damn equatorial orbit according to the objectives. Uh, orbit, apoapse, periapsis. Uh, uh, let's get into the 100 by 100 orbit. Okay, so we can ditch that fairing. That's excellent, and we actually, we can... Should we extend that antenna? Shading out the SAS controls too, what? Oh, that we have the, you know what, we still have this bug. You know what, we, this is a bug actually. The sh terrain shading is incorrect. But once we get high enough, apparently it fixes itself, right? Yeah, this is OBS or something that's doing something weird here. Now I'm curious, if I turn on window capture... Yeah, look, if I turn on window capture, right? What I did is there's two different modes there. That's window capture and that is game capture. So there's something in the shading. And this is the most bizarre bug I have ever seen in all my many, 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 many years of streaming. Actually, it's not a particularly bizarre bug. I always blame it on bugs because... It's rather safer than blaming it on the moonlight, or the sunshine, or on the boogie. What does orbit accuracy actually mean? Vessel Muna 10. Target mean anomaly, longitude to the ascending node. Does 85, yeah, 85% is pretty lax, but that is presumably 
So it's certainly not 85 degree inclination limitation because that's pretty impossible. There, so I'm just following this node there. And that's that stage. And I realize... Yeah. Okay, the next thing I need to do is point retrograde. And then adjust my orbit back down so it's not so high. Let's see how accurate that is. Periaps is 94, Apoaps is 113. And finally we got it. Now we need to get to the moon, so we need to go prograde. Okay, let's let's make this very gentle. Gonna get there. And then as soon as I get an encounter, that's as much as I need to do. So let's focus the view just to make sure, just to see where we are. Oh wow, we're coming like right over the top here. Let's see what happens when I apply that. Okay, so actually that's about as close as I'm going to get there. We can change the maneuver, when, we can change our encounter when we're like there at the maneuver. So what we want to do is get this thing a little closer to 13 degree inclination. Oh, but actually, wait a second, you see that? It shows the orbit and I'm actually doing it backwards, right? Because that is my escape point, so I'm actually going backwards there. You've got to pay attention to this, otherwise you're going to have to do like a 180 degree correction here. There we go. Okay, so we're going to come around there and no more, no more, no more, no more. Handbrake turns don't work so well in in space. I I understand that. Okay. So, estimated burn, three seconds, and we should be in... in uh, we should be visible on the planet Gerbin. Okay. Now let's turn this and point towards my maneuver node. 51 seconds. It doesn't really matter. I'll just point retrograde. I just wanted to be close to the thing. Yeah, precise node is a mod. I'm talking about features in the base game because I like to tell the developers how to make their games better because I have opinions and because, you know, I can get away with that because they're very nice people and they wouldn't dare, you know, say nasty things about me. Just kidding. No, I love I love the devs and there's a bunch of features that should actually end up in the game at some point. It's just, uh, they got to prioritize everything. Okay. I've just realized I hope these engines are generating power, otherwise I could find myself in some serious trouble. Um, I should just turn this off. Okay, that's pretty close. And you know what? Those uh, engines do not, in fact, uh, generate power. I should have thought about that, shouldn't I? I'm going to make sure this gets down close enough to the target orbit so that we're all happy. And... Oh, oh, we're getting low there. So wait, we are going up which means I need to go radially inwards, so I've got to turn off stability control, and then we'll kill our vertical velocity, so that will actually raise this back up. That's what's going to go on here. I'm thinking that's surely close enough to qualify for an orbit. There we go! Team, we're nearly there! One last thing, the data we gather from this mission. Observe the mystery goo in low space over the east crater. How do we know when it's the East Crater? We've already achieved the Moon Orbit, right? So if I just do this, hold on. We are going to go point it south. 
I'm just worried that I'm going to run out of fuel for landing if I keep doing this. Of course, I have RCS thrusters. I'm going to need to get close to this target anyway, so it's not disastrous. That might actually be the label I'm looking for. Because we're getting pretty close to that. Okay. So I'm going to presume that there is some sort of crater here that I'm about to hit. You'd think I would know this. Oh, look! Tra check for transmission! Uh, observe mystery goo. Transmit! Transmit data! Yes! I got it! Okay, that's good. So it was, it was simply on the map. I was confused because it was a landing zone that was specified as well. Okay, so now where is our landing site? Longitude, latitude. Land Muna 10 in the east crater. Which is not the east crater, it's the far side crater they've specified. Right? Five. Okay, so we are going to now land this thing. And actually, I think we can very easily land this. So I'm going to just drop my thing over the crater. I think we're going to have plenty of thrust to do this. The only thing is, can I target this? Uh, activate. So the problem is, and this is something I've mentioned repeatedly, right? That if you... The navigation markers for landing are on the wrong... They show on one direction, but not the other. DOS! DOS! How the devil are you, sir? Yes, this is a, a feature which I have commented on several times. That on the nav ball, you get to see where the target is if you're going forwards, but not in reverse. I told Nestor that when I was in, in uh, um, you know, Mexico, so maybe we'll get to see it sometime. But, you know, of obviously the devs have a lot of things that they're doing, a lot of plans, a lot of awesome things. Hey, sup, peeps? Das. Vosprong das technique. That's what you you guys don't know that. Das is the man. Yes. Okay, let's see how close I can get this to the target. What do you how I'm gonna move this in? How close should I get this here? Okay, and I'm gonna fire these engines. Yeah, this thing has way plenty of thrust here. Okay. Now, the only thing I don't have... Okay, we're a little better positioned. Now, what I'm gonna... I'm gonna run out of fuel, and then I'm probably gonna have to RCS this down, which is gonna be fun. Okay, that's actually pretty good, so I'm gonna switch to this. Now, what I'm gonna do is translate, like give myself a little more boost vertically so I, I can travel further. What does my accuracy on this have to be? Uh, radius 35 kilometers. Okay, and I'm 3.3 kilometers away, so I'm just gonna land this sucker. But I've got 3.3 units of fuel here. So this is gonna be fun. In fact, yeah. Okay, now... So I'm going to have to land this using RCS. Which is going to be fun with a capital F. For like... F oh, here. It's going to be fun. Good news is that I can definitely handle the deceleration here. Just have to estimate the, the distance to the landing. I like how there's bits just exploding in the background as I'm slowly bringing this down to the target. <laughs> you know, just your average everyday landing on the moon. Bits exploding everywhere. Bits that we don't need, obviously.
Hey! Excellent! I have the makings of a great pilot. Jean tells me that I'm a great pilot. That is... That is so happy. I feel great. I feel complete now. That Jean... Jean has made my day. He has... He has anointed me. Mission success! Okay, so... Bronze. So what did I do slowly? I completed with silver and obviously I'm gonna just say the the text packing. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give the text packing a bronze or layout or whatever. Reach curb in orbit. Re I scored 500 and I okay. Multi how did my uh, I guess I took a long time to reach the 13 degree. I should have just like done it faster and more powerful. Experiment transmitted, which would have been done a lot faster if you hadn't made me go onto the orbit that didn't go anywhere near that target. Mystery goo! Landing! And I got the landing nice and accurate. So, hey, that's okay. I love how the popcorn is just like totally floating around. Okay, uh, save and quit. Yay!